What's going on everybody? Just going to uh, give a little rundown of uh, what my setup is with my 308 short Banshee. Um, that's one of my, it's my biggest deer I've ever shot. Shot him back in 2017. Um, so here's, uh, here's the, obviously, there's the Banshee right there. I am a big fan of this rail loop. It's actually Scorpion Venom. You can buy same thing. I really like String Snot for my string wax. And yes, I do put it on my center serving. Not heavy, light, but I do put it on there. I keep all my bolts and fasteners lubricated up with String Snot oil. Keeps them from rusting. It's a good little setup there. I uh, use a Vortex inch pounds torque wrench to put on my scopes and to make sure I've got all my bolts tightened on the bow. <clears throat> I check them about every hundred shots or so. Um, Luminoc tool. Yes, it's made by 10 point, but that's what my local shop had. So that's what I use on that there. Of course, when I level my scopes, I use um, I use bubble levels like from leveling a gun, a gun scope. I use two bubble levels, one on the riser, one on top of the scope. Works out just fine. Um, these are typically some of the arrows I like to shoot out of the Banshee. Either these or the Zombie Slayers. Um, I really like these Black Eagle aluminum knocks. They're awesome. They only weigh 18.2 grains. They come in packs of 12. You can get them just about anywhere. Also, I prefer to run 92 grain inserts um, in these bows so I can run 125 grain head. Um, gives me right about 217 grains up front, which puts me typically about a 19% front of center, which I really enjoy. Um, I really, for a lot of knocks, I like Luminox. They do fine. Don't have an issue with them. I really, out of Excaliburs, like new Fletch Igniters. And I'll tell you why. Because they have this aluminum bushing. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they have that aluminum bushing in there. And that really makes that rear end of the arrow really rigid. And I know I've had one of these zombie slayers here that has had at least a thousand shots on it and went through five deer before it finally broke. Um, and that was because it bounced off a big tree root. Um, <clears throat> so that's uh, pretty well my setup, except for, I meant to say this, I really, really love the G5 headlock quiver. It is amazing. It comes with a screw-in adapter that goes in the tree. And then this just sets on your tree, locks down like it does on your quiver, and it is awesome. They're only about 35 bucks. Holds four arrows, broadheads. Of course, just about everybody knows, typically, I shoot Rage Hypodermics. Um, appreciate everything, guys. Um, Y'all let me know if y'all have any questions.